Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 on the PC with a few mods installed in survival mode. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 73. And Piper and I are gonna go check out Vault 81. I know a lot of players actually go to Vault 81 as soon as they can get three fusion cells together. So that they can spend time trading with the vault. And I, and I assume that people do that. If they use fast travel, because then you can just fast travel directly to the vault. But if you're like me and you play in survival mode and you don't fast travel, then going to the vault is kind of an inconvenience, and so I tend to save it for later in the game, like right now. Let's go check it out, Piper. But Vault 81, of course, is, is a lot of fun because it's where you get... It's not a lot of fun. It's just a good vault because it's where you get Curie. I got some questions for the folks I figured you might. That's why I wanted to bring you along. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy but you better start talking. Vault 81. You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh. Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores. We grant the access. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. <clears throat> and here we go. Super duper. Cat, scat, scooper. Excellent. Thank you for extending a warm welcome bridge to him. Man, my guy's been working double showing off that power. They need a break. That's Man, right. Man, we're outside hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. I like the overseer. She doesn't I'll have the same body do. style as everybody like else. She actually kind of looks like a real human being. Like More video Sorry games to need to do stuff as like that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. Most everyone here is very friendly with Commonwealth <clears throat> visitors. Although, that power armor may make a few people nervous. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. All right. You're not making any trouble. Piper. 
Let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah, I got stuff. I got stuff I need to break down. Well, the power armor is going to be intimidating. It's going to be intimidating. There's nothing I can do about that. No signs of radiation. Press it. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? Ashes. Ashes, where are you going? Ash. Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. Huh. So you're the reason the patrols are double today. You know, no no reason to get snippy. I could give Piper some stuff to carry, then I wouldn't have to run around in this power over inside here. There's a little, uh, there's a little lag in here. Hey, mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Whoa, there's a lot of lag in here. Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, that I can show it. you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Okay, give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. I am not sure what this uh, there it just died. That was good. Oh no, no. Oh wow. I'm experiencing some I'm experiencing some pretty severe lag. Ooh. Hey, where are you going? The tour just started. I'm going to head now. Don't wait oh, up for me. Failed to yeah. failed to follow off the there's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, this is really bizarre. I've never seeds. seen this before. I need more seeds. I'm going to get out of my power. Whatever it is, it can Fusion core, oh take God. that. Let me you carry on, something. Boy. Yes, I'm gonna let you carry some stuff. I'm gonna get let you carry quite a bit of you stuff actually. It's okay. I'm gonna have to reboot the, the game maybe. Stop see what's going on with that. Cause that it's it happens while I face that direction. All right, I'm going to try something out here, and we'll splice this video together and see what happens. All right, we're back in Vault 81, and the lag seems to be gone. I just had to quit the game and restart it, so that's a good thing. Piper? Hey. Where to? I'm going to trade you a bunch of stuff here, trying to figure out how to get my weight down. That submachine gun I don't need. Double barrel shotgun. Knuckles. Let's see. What else? Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in these. Oh, my God. Okay, what else? I'm down 318. I got a bunch of fuel. That's part of the reason why. There's a giddy up buttercup. Those are weight 8. Oh, no wonder. That's all she can take. Okay, well, that's better. All right, so we're here, and then our little we failed to to take the uh, tour because uh, the lag. So not worried about that. She's looking pretty bad in there. Let's see, where is it? Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Residential. I always have a hard time with these vaults and trying to figure out where I'm going. If you need something, ask Alexis. I can't make heads or tails of this sort. Classroom. <clears throat> oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. I've had a few interesting moments. Stop being so modest. My kids would love to hear about anything you've done out in the Commonwealth. Would you mind talking to them and sharing one of your experiences? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Short stories. All right. Hey, Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. <laughs> children, right. children, listen up. Is this gonna we have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. <laughs> Did you ever fight a Deathclaw? 
one of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? I was shot up pretty bad by the raiders that had my friend Preston trapped. But you were still able to rescue him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. <laughs> when the Deathclaw crawled out, Preston was ready with his laser musket. I bet you were glad he was there. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. All right. Only oh, critical hit with unarmed attacks. What you think of that, Piper? Me telling stories. All right, let's see. There's the atrium. This says residential. There's the reactor. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Old Rusty really takes it out of you. You've no idea, Mr. Hi. Hey, Outsider. You just get lost. Do me a favor. My if my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. You're obviously upset. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I don't think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. up here Coca cola fancy hairbrush radio hey it's the overseer's terminal provisions denied to the loss there's an s a P, P and an S. Sweet. Welcome to Vault 81 Prime Directive. Mission of Vault 81 is to research infectious diseases and antibodies with particular attention paid to potential mutations in the climate of heavy radiation. Let's use private logs. A job's a job. Can't believe it. Well, Ted must have really been desperate for an overseer candidate after this Duncan fell ill. I'm certainly qualified for this job, but with my politics, how could they think I'm a good candidate for this kind of program? Maybe there's more to this than I'm seeing. They still haven't given me a full briefing on the work we'll be doing here, but I'm not stupid. Pretty sure it's going to involve human trials. I won't jump to any conclusions, though. Let's see how this plays out. They're crossing any ethical lines with me. They'll be in a congressional hearing before they know what's hit them. Uh, they suspect. Burrow and Flint are getting restless in there. Collins and that robot. He's calling her Kiri now. They're keeping the mood relatively steady. But I think they already suspect that I have no intention of allowing them to implement a stage 3 trial. Not sure what to do. They've got access to the delivery nozzles choose to, they'll be able to infect the population with whatever they want. Need to keep them calm. Made a grim choice. Sabotaged the delivery nozzles in all the resident quarters as soon as I was able. I didn't expect Burrow to notice so soon. Hell, I didn't ex expect Collins to get so close to phase three trial so quickly. I didn't expect half of what's happened in the past few months. Getting off communication is a cowardly thing to do, but what options do I have? They'll have food and water in there as long as they need. I just can't let them go through with human trials for God knows what Vault Tech plans to do with their research. 
I only hope that somehow they can forgive me and live out their years in peace over there. Peace. Research com records. This terminal is equipped. Phase one trial. Delivery. Failure. So. Did you try rebooting the... Oh. You already got it. The ignition's note read. Nobody can get into the Overseer Olivet's terminal. The password might be corrupted. I can't make sense of this thing, and I finally convinced the Overseer to let it go and allow me to set up a new terminal. Olivet probably was hardly even using the thing anymore. I doubt there's anything important on it. There is something important on it. We have to go take this to the Overseer. There's a door in here somewhere. Where's that Bobby goon? Where did he go? He's often running around somewhere now. I can never remember how this whole quest goes. But there's my old duct tape. I don't want to steal it though. I don't want to set Piper off. Okay, so yeah, there's the robot. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. So you're programmed for vault maintenance? An astute observation. I assist Mr. DeLuca with reactor maintenance, tending to the heart of the vault. He prefers to supervise while giving me the privilege of fulfilling the tasks. <laughs> the privilege. Mr. DeLuca sounds like he prefers slacking off to actual work. Ah, yes. I've heard those oh, very good. words repeated me. by several citizens of the vault. However, they should be grateful. Mr. DeLuca's knowledge of reactors is limited at best. <laughs> It's really better he remains hands off. Great. Piper? Blue, you got a minute? Yep. Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. I'm not going to be the deciding factor in what becomes of Nat. She's going to figure that out for herself. It's just. Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole. And patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... Things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. I feel the same way. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. And I'll be there for you, as long as you'll have me. Now, come on, let's hit the road. All right, gift of gab perk. And now I need to talk to her. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Hello, Overseer. 
Some of our residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most. So please, don't think they speak for all of us. Tired of working. Tired of this vault. Tina. Maybe after this, Bobby will finally listen to me and we'll both get the hell out of here. You're still here? Oh yeah? It's me. She's headed back into the reactor room. Where's Bobby at? I feel like we have to do something to trigger a conversation Did your pit him. boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the common room. <laughs> Damn it. She's holding that wrench. Alright, so what's Piper's gift of gab perk again? Packs. Man, in gift of gab. Double XP for speech challenges and discovering new locations. Oh, you should get that one early then. Oh my goodness. Okay, so where's Bobby at? And do I have any quests lit up here? Or is your safe house? Nothing yet. Okay. Where's this guy at then? I just read a whole bunch of stuff about the overseas office. Excuse me, overseer. Take time to look around. You'll have the full run of the place. Dang it, I did. Watch okay. yourself. How do I trigger this? Let's figure out how we do it. Make drinks. Austin. Who's down here? There's this person. Oh yeah, this guy. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do this. I hope I'm not being presumptuous. But I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just the blood sample? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. All right. I can do that. That's easy. This will only take a sec. There you go, Doc. Back. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Okay. Surgical trays. Well, let's see if anything else happens. I her. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Gonna pass. Let me know if that changes. The doctor. And a bucket. Okay, nothing going on in here. Let's go, Piper. Let's keep looking. Let's keep inspecting. Yep. You know, is there anything I gotta do in somebody's room? Whose room is this? What's it say? Magnifying glass. Older. That song is quite funny. It's a man. That song cracks me up. Small vault situation. Poor Aaron. Her cat got loose in the Commonwealth. If there's a story here, we'll find it. Let's Probably. Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Okay. Interesting. A bunch of junk in here. Here we go. Turn that noise off. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. What else do I have to do? Seeds. I need more seeds. Oh, that's this lady. You should stop by and see the ratio one. Can't imagine you come This strain is doing quite well. Hey there. I can't seem to get the potatoes right. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. I'll okay. have to see how it holds up to exposure. What's this? Test group. 
Oh, okay. Oh, little seeds and stuff. What do we have over here? This guy's given haircuts. This person here cooks. Aaron's cat managed to get out of the vault. What about overseeing oh, yourself? So Something tells me that I have to be up here. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. Overseer. If you haven't already, you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Dang. Okay. Well, we've already done that stuff. And this is her private course. Still waiting to figure out the right trigger. Maybe it's the cat. Damn, I need a break. Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. You don't feel like working? For you. Holt Cones. Hello, Holt. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every straight traveler that comes our way. Okay, Mr. Ashes! I'm gonna check out the couple. Whoa! If my A real lets life me. commonwealth person. You dress funny. Well, hello. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash's gone? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Okay, so that's Ashes. I expect you'll both stay out of trouble. That starts never ends in that time. quest. That's not the one I'm trying to get going here. Let's see about this thing here. Oh, they're down here. Now the other guy's down here. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. This is an interesting room. Really? Guess maybe for an outsider. Just the old generators down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? Who's it for? You? Me, myself, and I. Don't worry, I'm not into selling. That's my sister's thing. I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Now I'm gonna let Tina know and see what happens. Hey, Tina. I never should have gotten him started on Chet. Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. Let's go back and have another look at this terminal. Maybe there's something I missed. Prime Directive. Clinical Trials. Mission protocol. Evacuation protocol. Alright, in the event of all tech ordered evacuation, overseer must be prepared to dispose of resident population by incineration. Oh, no, it's just a green stone. Okay. Drills, drills. I have to read it all. What else is on here? Phase two trial. Full rat population. Food extruder. Phase one trial. Where is it? Yeah, so what's going on? So that I thought there was a way to open this door. 
There's a door somewhere here, right there, I'm pretty certain. Dang it. How do I get this started? Bobby. Tina doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm careful. Ain't nobody gonna catch me doing this stuff. Bobby, I mean, where's your stash? It's hidden behind the door. My extremities. Old Rusty. Is it a little crowded in here, or is it just me? Hmm. Weird. Okay, something's going on. I gotta figure out how to do this quest, because I don't want to spend all day in here wandering around, so... Alright, so it seems like the thing you have to do is yep, go do ashes and come back 24 hours later and the doctor that you gave the blood to will... The whole thing gets triggered that way, so it's not... It's not as straightforward as my faulty memory thought it was. Well, I remember it being somewhat confusing. Oh boy, that's a lot of metal. Yeah, it is. It's heavy metal, Piper. How do you feel about that? Well, Piper... Piper, I have Piper's Affinity maxed, so here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna go back since it's just next door. And we have to find the cat. We're gonna go back to Hangman's Alley, our, our cozy home, and we're gonna pick up somebody else. And I'm either gonna Stay pick safe, up sir. Kate or McCready. Held and dance is not a viable good. option right this second. Here, kitty kitty. I've never right. had an incident on my watch. Kitty. Food. Dried stag. So yummy. Mm. So this is uh, quite the little episode. All right, let's go find here, kitty, kitty. Kitty cat, where are you at, Ashes? Ashes, you little troublemaker. Ashes, there you are. Take him, stuff him in my coat pocket. Here you go. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. Boy, if it was only that easy, tell the cat to go home and it go. Cats, people own dogs. Cats own people. Cats decide who they want to love and when to love. Why don't you love dogs? Well, I'll tell you why, because I'm not a fan of dog poop. I know that sounds strange to people who are dog people. I'm like, what do you mean? I just really don't like dog poop. I don't like picking it up. Never have. I also don't like the barking barking and jumping on people and things of that nature. I'm just not a fan of that. So that makes me not a fan of dogs. But cats. Cats are cozy and they purr and they sit on your lap and they sleep with you. They sleep with your feet and they'll purr some more. They're easy to take care of. And if you have an indoor one and it has a sandbox, it's a thousand times easier and less smelly than a big one. Oh, 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 sorry. Alright, Kate. Gonna plan hey. Ready to head back out? Yes. Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. So, no one's managed to put you in the ground yet, Kate? Not yet. Though it isn't for lack of trying. Hangman's hey, Alley Piper. You have now had your affinity maxed. Make well, I am going to take a snoozer. 
to sleep for a long time. <laughs> and I know, I, I understand everybody loves dogs. Oh my goodness, even my kids love dogs. And my, my wife has, has, at one point in time, my wife had four dogs all at the same time. She loves her doggies. I'm just, I'm much more of a cat person. That just seems to be, you know, you can break people up into a number of different categories in life. Are they a dog person or a cat person? Do they like pineapple on their pizza or not? All kinds of different ways you can split people up. And the cat dog thing is just one more way. What are you supposed to wear? Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if then well. I suppose I should do that. I'm surprised that the uh, oh look at the train coming in. That's awesome. I love supply lines and all that jazz. It just seeing some of that stuff just makes the whole game feel a bit more alive. Look like it was a raider and not a supply line person, but I don't need to shoot them right this second. Is that it's a cow? Is it a cow? Is it a Brahmin? A red stain. We're gonna find it. Well, no, no, no. We're gonna go. Enough of this slob. Just point us to the nearest watering hole. Kate. Gotta love Kate. All the companions in this game are so well done. But I would say Kate is probably my favorite. Kate and Nick. I like a lot. This is the only vault I know that people still call home. Kind of weird that they still want to stay out here all by themselves. Yep. It is a little weird. I'm with you. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs a sunshine diner. Did you hear that Bobby DeLuca found some sort of secret passage to another vault? What? Bobby DeLuca. We'll see about that. There you are, Kate. The mods for these ladies, though, are fantastic. These are all part of the Loving series. Loving Kate, Loving Piper, Loving Curie. They're all very nicely done. I feel like they're definite improvements. Power armor. You know, it's just a little bit of a role playing thing. Probably gonna need some sort of scene. Hey, pal. Ashes! You found him! Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Bad kitty. I was so worried about you. He is a bad kitty. Took off like that. That is a bad, bad kitty. Right, so now. So Your friend there looks like she's looking for a fight. But I'm just happy you're back. Let's see about the doctor over here, kitty kitty. Where's the doctor? Was it downstairs? This is me getting lost all the time. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. 
You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junky genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Without that cure, Austin will certainly die. Austin will certainly die. Hmm? So what do you got here, Bobby? Oh yeah. Alakazam. Oh, kicking worked. Okay. Well, I'm not going in there. Without my trusty suit. Because things are going to be messy. Boys and girls. Let's go take down some mole rats. Oh sure. And what am I supposed to wear? Uh cute negligee. Let's go, Kate. Oh, ashes. You bad, bad kitty. The secret vault. All right, what do we have here? Cans, ceramics, light bulbs, some decent loot in here. The caliber, which I've not used at all during this game. My early. Ah, uh, where are you boys? I know you like to jump out of here. Caved in, all right. A Braxo cleaner. You should have been taking care of the mole rats, you big ding dong. Not trying to get me. I like that I don't have to reload this gun. But instinct is going to make me want to. Let's 
over here. A wooden crate. Yes. Hey. Let's go down here and see what we can find. Let's light this guy up. See if he can help with the mole rats when they start showing up. War nuts it. Oh, well. Choose personality mode. Let's go for fire burger. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Okay, you're not gonna attack us, right? Good. What's in here? Give the Protectron a minute to run out ahead of us and do whatever he's gonna do. I just don't think glass is used for it very much, is it? Bathroom, Raxel cleaning. over here just dead end. Okay, let's go see what kind of trouble this guy's getting into. What kind of trouble is he? Hey, I'm still hungry. Really? Kate! You go legend. Oh, he's legendary. We're gonna want to blow him up. He's gonna drop something, which is probably just gonna be nothing important. Get in there. It's all gonna go to hell. Oh, is that one right there? That, uh, four at me. Where are they at? But overseer, 
No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. How is Austin going to be? Okay, Dr. The infection is quite rapid. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us secured. If I find you, you're gonna regret it. You feel ill, weakness, great. Let's do this then. Aid. Antibiotics. And right away. And let's save some food. Some drinks. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, this is. Hold up. Good job, Kate. Good job. Go through water fast. Yes. Here's the thing shooting. So easily am I distracted by the aluminum. Okay, now it looks like you're getting some. Chorus terminal. Uh, controls. Yes. Hey, that ain't nothing like getting lucky, right? Hey, this is where we want to be. Oh, Vault Tech Lab coat. These are the these people died. People died. Locked up and take all the bones. Sorry, I need your bones. It helps you make me make a adhesive, which is useful in all circumstances. All right, Kiri. Oh, another stranger. Are you Vault Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Yes. Y yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. <laughs> Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please, tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Volt Tech representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, Please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. 
You can go. Freedom at long last. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Okay. And there it is, the medicine bobbleheads. Two X permanently heal 10% more damage. You're gonna drag that junk around. Terminal. Use. Vault 81 mission statement. We are entrusting you with a mission that is critical to all humanity. Vault 81 will be used to wipe out disease as we know it in the human race. Your partition of the vault has been equipped with state-of-the-art medical research equipment, including the new Contagious Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, a.k.a. Curie. There's centuries worth of biological and chemical supplies. There are the genetically adapted mole rats, and most important, a vault full of test subjects. Test subjects. Okay, so Carrie, you're here. What else is here? Let's see. Bobby Pin. Curie's terminal. Research. Thank you, Dr. Pons. This terminal. Not recommended for research backups. Please use hard copies. Personal. Colleagues. I have completed my analysis and integration of the data to make me a capable research assistant. I have been commanded to provide an assessment of my colleagues. Dr. Flint is objectively brilliant, although Dr. Collins repeatedly calls him brusque. But I find Dr. Flint's commands and speech patterns easier to parse. His observations are always very astute, and I am learning much about working with cell cultures from him. Masha Barreau is perfectly capable, acceptable to work with performs menial tasks, which my programming is perfectly suited for, such as carrying heavy lab equipment. This is strange, because my capabilities for such a task are far beyond those of a human man. I'm told by Dr. Collins that this is a sign of respect that Monsieur Barreau is making. This does not compute. Error in cash integer. Distress. Usually agitated state. He would not leave his quarters after this morning meal. Dr. Collins assures me this state is temporary and that Monsieur Barreau is merely overwhelmed with the black zigawz in cash. Eulogy. Dr. Barreau is deceased. Postmortem indicates he expired from a severe cardiac arrest brought on by advanced age. He died at 5.01 a.m. shortly after waking. In accordance with the doctor's pre-existing orders, the body was cremated and placed in, the, in a specified urn alongside Dr. Collins and Flint. Dr. Burrow was of great assistance in continuing the work left to us by the others. My last order was to continue working on our projects alone, so that our deaths will not be in vain. Processors are fully committed to further in the study of pathogens and viruses for the betterment of mankind to honor this last request. All right, Kiri, we have the cure. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's also work. What do we have in there? Blood. We don't have any bones. I'm not interested. All right, let's go. I know that sounds horrifying, but let's do it. Elevator. Epos, let's go. We're leaving. Everyone, we are leaving. Kiri. little robot will no doubt want to yes. continue on oh I can hack Curie I wonder what I could do if I can hack her I don't really want to I don't even want to try that I don't want to screw something up alright I presume this says terminal one door control hey here we are on the outside if you're looking to do some trading, look for the people. Alexis has just about anything you could need. Now, where are you headed, Kerry? It is stimulating traveling with you. Do you require something? I'm going to leave you for now, then. I'm going to assume that I can pick you up later, because... Is that your pit boy? Better be. Well, yes it is. It's my pit boy. Who do you think it is? Somebody else? 
Oh, you're still traveling with me, okay, until we get to the outside, I think. Mine's me stats. Mole rat disease, yeah, I have it, so there's nothing I can do. And there's only one vial. Well, here's the thing, you can run around through the rest of the game with mole rat disease, or you can get a mod to help Kira be able to make another dose, so. That is what we do. Where? Oh, I have to go downstairs. Well, this is noise for a change. Yeah. So much to learn and see. All right, my friends. Let's put an end to this situation here. They're down. Lower level, lower level. There's actually three levels here. The cure. You found it. Yes. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. Seems odd that Kate would dislike that action after I rescued her from addiction. Sometimes this game does things that don't make sense. Stab you in the butt. It shouldn't be long. What? Where, where am I? If only medicine and cures in the real world work like they did in a video game. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for a friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the surrender. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I, I hope you can. enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. If vault Tech had lived to go through with their plan, this place would be wiped out. I don't doubt that one bit. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. Perfect. Okay, quest complete. Oh, and we can actually take things You're now. You're gonna drag that junk around. Yeah, I am. A moment, please. Yes. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth, consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there, and if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude, but I must ask. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Come along, then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Go to Hangman's Alley, Kate. Alright. Kiri is available to me and my companion now, which is fantastic. Dr. Penske's been keeping an extra close eye on Austin since he recovered. I think I can change Kiri. We got a barber here if you need it. Into another robot design. So that's gonna be one of the first things I do. On the next episode though, as we get ready to close this one down, folks. As always. Thanks for watching. If you have not already,
Hopefully you subscribe to the channel. I like to save that stuff for last. I'm going to go on a little rant here as I'm getting ready to exit Vault 81. All you people out there who make videos, especially anything that's a tutorial or we're going to show somebody how to do something, and it's just a five-minute video on how to fix this or fix that, and you spend the first two minutes of your video recruiting people to subscribe to your channel, fuck off. I hate all you guys. Save your recruitment speech for the end of the video. If you're not getting to the point of your video in the first 10 seconds, you're a complete failure. So all this stuff about here's how to change this light bulb in your car, and then I have to fast forward to the five minute and six second mark to learn how to do it because you just spent five minutes rambling on about your channel and subscriptions and blah, 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 blah. Screw you. Everybody who shows has some kind of tutorial on how to use something on your computer and it takes them two, three, four minutes to get to the point. Screw you. So that's why I save my recruitment speech for the very end of the video. It's real simple. If you like the channel, subscribe. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'm pretty good about interacting with everybody. I kind of like it. If you don't like the channel, don't subscribe. It's that simple. Save it for the end. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Fallout 4.